Poodles are fantastic family dogs to own, but are they better than the sociable Golden Doodle? Or how about the affectionate Labradoodle? Despite sharing many similarities, these three wonderful dog breeds still have unique personality traits, physical characteristics, and requirements that may make one better suited for your family. In this video, we'll compare all the most important factors so that you can make the best choice in deciding on the perfect doodle. And stick around to the end where I reveal which breed is best, at least in my opinion. Number 1. Not all of them are hypoallergenic. Poodles are almost always going to be low-shedding, hypoallergenic dogs. In other words, they don't produce a lot of allergens by shedding their coats, ensuring fewer allergic reactions if you're sensitive to dogs. Instead of shedding fur like most dogs, they simply lose strands of hair like with humans. However, this isn't always the case with the Golden Doodle and Labradoodle. Let me explain. Take the Golden Doodle, for example. There are four possible generations of this hybrid. The generation depends on the parent combination of the Poodle, Golden Retriever, and Golden Doodle. It can get a little confusing, but I'm going to simplify it for you. The heaviest shedding of the four generations is always going to be the F1 Golden Doodle, where the Doodle has a Golden Retriever and Poodle parent. On the other side of the spectrum, the F1B Golden Doodle, with a Golden Doodle and Poodle parent, is going to shed the least. The same would apply for Labradoodles. So if you're not excited about the shedding, I would try to look for F1B Golden Doodle or Labradoodle. However, the lowest shedding will always be the purebred Poodle. Number 2. Grooming may vary. Poodles have tightly curled hair. Labradoodles have a slightly coarser, thicker hair follicle. And Golden Doodles still retain the curls, but they always have a fluffier, wavy feel. So because of these slight differences of the coats, grooming requirements will vary between the three breeds. Regular brushing is essential for Labradoodles. And when it's time for a trim, think strategically, especially around the face, where hair can easily block their eyes. A long blade should be used for trimming the bulk of the coat, but be careful as to not trim too much fur off the legs. After all, Labradoodles are meant to have full-looking legs. However, Golden Doodles require more upkeep because their thin, fast-growing hair can tangle much easier. And without regular grooming, all the best physical features of your dog will quickly be obscured by a long fur. The easiest solution for most owners is to cut their fur short with the exception of their feet, face, and tail. Not only will this keep your Golden Doodle cool, but also reduce the frequency of brushing. However, poodles are a bit different. They need regular brushing as well, but their curly coats may be a bit easier to manage than the two other hybrids. That is, unless you are going for a continental cut or saddle trip. Number 3. Intelligent Training Make no mistake, the Poodle, Golden Doodle, and Labradoodle are all highly intelligent dogs that respond well to obedience training. In fact, the Poodle is ranked the second smartest purebred dog, only behind the Border Collie. So does that automatically make the Poodle the most intelligent of the three? Well, not always. Golden Retrievers are the fourth most intelligent, while Labradors are the seventh smartest purebred. So both hybrid Doodles have other intelligent parents as well. However, training methods may slightly differ. For Labradoodles, you'll want to initially focus on your relationship with the dog because they're the most eager to please of the three. Once they've realized that you're the pack leader and someone they can trust, they'll obey your every word. Golden Doodles, however, respond much better to structure and consistency. When they don't understand what's going on, they can become more anxious and stressed. Consistency is key with Golden Doodles. However, Poodles are just workaholics. They genuinely enjoy being active, engaged, and having tasks to perform, even if it's obedience training. Poodles also have the strongest work ethic, meaning they might be the easiest to train of the three. 4. Exercise Needs All three dog breeds require a lot of exercise because all three are energetic, active dogs. If I had to rank them based on exercise needs, it would probably be the Poodle, followed by the Labradoodle, and then the Golden Doodle. However, it's best that all three breeds get roughly one hour of exercise each day. And because they all have the Retriever genes in them, playing fetch is probably the most ideal activity. Number 5. The Differences in Temperament The temperament of these three dogs will be affected by their genetics, training, socialization, individual personalities, and environmental factors. Nonetheless, there are few temperament traits that are consistent with each breed. For example, Poodles will be active, energetic, and fun-loving dogs. Though they love to work their intelligent minds, 
they have a mischievous side that comes out when they're playing. On the other hand, golden doodles are the most sociable and outgoing of the three. That said, these doodles require extra socialization training for them to remain happy or content. Golden doodles have a contagious, cheerful vibe and a strong enthusiasm for life. In fact, they love nothing more than to play with friendly people or dogs. Labradoodles are similar, though they may be the most gentle and calmest of the three doodles. However, Labradoodles might actually be the most loyal. They have a strong desire to spend time with family, and you'll definitely get along with their easygoing nature. But no matter which you pick, they're all going to be extremely trainable, responsive, and intelligent. Number 6. Are they all compatible with families? The good news is that all three doodles can potentially make wonderful family companions. Poodles, for instance, are excellent with active families that have older kids. But while they do make great family pets, poodles might be better suited for families who appreciate their intelligence and are actively involved in their care and stimulation. Labradoodles may be easier for most families. They're the genius dogs that seem to have a built-in schedule tracker. In fact, they're intelligent enough to sense when their owners are busy and when they actually have time to play. Plus, Labradoodles have amazing situational awareness, making them ideal for busy homes that get a lot of visitors. However, the most family-compatible dog may be the Golden Doodle. They're just so friendly and loving towards everyone. You won't be able to find a single aggressive bone in these dogs, as Golden Doodles are famously known for being great with children and other dogs. The only problem is that they may be the most susceptible to developing separation anxiety, so they're not great for busy owners. But if you have a house full of kids and other pets, Golden Doodles may be the best for you. Number 7. Apartment Living The Poodle, Labradoodle, and Golden Doodle are all better suited for a family home with a large backyard. They're the happiest when they have plenty of space to roam and expand their energy. However, that doesn't mean living in apartments with these dogs is impossible. If you're wondering which of the three is better suited for apartment living, it's probably the Labradoodle. Labradoodles are simply calmer, but more adaptable and better at adjusting to different environments. Both the Poodle and Golden Doodle will have a more difficult time in apartments. But as long as you spend some time every day taking them out for physical activity and socialization, they can all thrive in apartments. Number 8. The Better Watchdog First up, we have the Poodle. Elegant and alert. They're like the undercover agents of the dog world. Despite the fancy hairdos, intruders won't stand a chance due to their vigilant nature and a sixth sense for suspicious people. Then we have the Labradoodles, the friendly neighborhood watchdogs. They might not be fierce, but with their wagging tails and friendly vibes, they're the social butterflies of the guard dog crew. But when compared to the Golden Doodle, Labradoodles will be a little more cautious with strangers and a bit more protective with family. Golden Doodles are just like teddy bears. They're not your typical watchdogs, as they're more likely to shower intruders with kisses than barks. I'd like to think of Golden Doodles as the welcome committee and not security. Number 9. Health Issues Poodles, especially standard poodles, are generally very healthy dogs, especially for a purebred. However, they may be prone to genetic conditions such as hip dysplasia, skin conditions, and progressive retinal atrophy. Regular vet checkups and a healthy diet will be essential to managing their well-being. Labradoodles may inherit health issues from both the Labrador or Poodle parent. These common health concerns may include hip dysplasia and ear infections due to their floppy ears. If you want your Labradoodle to maintain great health, regular exercise, preventative care, and consistent grooming will be crucial for their overall health. Similarly, Golden Doodles are prone to hip dysplasia, heart conditions, and certain skin problems because of the Golden Retriever genetics. Make sure these dogs receive regular grooming, a balanced diet, and regular vet visits to ensure their health and well-being. But because mixed dogs are generally more healthy due to their more diverse genetic pool, your best bet at minimal health issues may be from one of the hybrid doodles. Number 10. The Lifespan all three of these doodles typically live a longer life than the 10-year average lifespan of large dogs. However, it really depends on a variety of things, including diet, exercise, veterinary care, among other factors. Poodles tend to live between 12 to 15 years if they're properly taken care of. Likewise, Labradoodles generally also live to be between 12 and 15 years old. Golden Doodles have the highest variance, with a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. 
Either way, take care of your doodle and you'll get to enjoy a wonderful long and fulfilling life with them. Number 11. The Cost and Accessibility Costs can vary quite significantly depending on whether you buy from a backyard breeder or adopt from a shelter. But if we're strictly talking about buying from reputable breeders, then the Labradoodle may be the most expensive of the three. They have the highest average cost of between $2,000 and $4,000, most likely because they're the least common of the doodles. The next most expensive doodle is the Golden Doodle. They're one of the most popular designer dogs, so there's a much bigger supply for them. From a reputable breeder, you can expect to pay between $1,500 and $3,500 for a healthy Golden Doodle. Poodles are by far the most popular and have the biggest supply because they're an established purebred. In fact, as of 2022, the Poodle was the fifth most popular dog breed in America. With that said, you can buy a standard Poodle puppy from a reputable breeder for $1,000 to $2,500. However, it's worth noting that prices will vary depending upon geographical location, trends, and personal preferences. So which doodle is the best? Personally, I think the Golden Doodle is best, at least for me. Given their friendly disposition, easy to care for coats, great compatibility, and relatively low maintenance, they're probably the most ideal for my family. However, that really depends entirely on you and your family's needs or requirements. The truth is, they're all fantastic companions and can make wonderful family pets for years to come. But I'd like to hear what you think. Leave a comment and let me know which doodle is best for you. Hey, if you enjoyed this, you'll probably love this video on the poodle. And if you hit subscribe, I'll donate a meal to a rescue dog on your behalf.